Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel Small Brain Pilot. Today I'm going to be something different than what you're used to seeing at my channel. Instead of a full flight video, it's still going to be a full flight video, but instead of music, I'm going to be sharing some knowledge with you guys. I mean, whatever you'd like to call it, knowledge, history, whatsoever. Today we're going to be talking about the story of the Boeing 777. The Boeing 777 is a long-range, wide-body, twin-engine jet airliner manufactured by Boeing Commercial Airplanes. The aircraft was designed as a replacement for the aging Boeing 747, with a focus on efficiency and economy in long-haul flights. The development of the 777 began in the early 1990s, and the aircraft was first introduced in 1995. Since then, the 777 has become one of the most successful and widely used commercial aircraft in the world with a high level of safety and reliability and an impressive service record. This video is going to be providing a look at the history, design, performance and service record of the Boeing 777. The development of the 777 began in the early 1990s as a response to the changing needs of the airline industry. At the time, airlines were looking for a more efficient and economical long-haul aircraft that could carry a large number of passengers over great distances. Boeing saw an opportunity to create a new aircraft that would meet these needs and began work and what would become the 777. The design of the 777 was based on several key innovations including a composite wing and a fly-by-wire control system. The composite wing was designed to be lighter and more fuel efficient than traditional wings, while the fly-by-wire system allowed for more precise control and reduced pilot workload. The 777 was also designed with a wider cabin, allowing for more comfortable seating. The development of the 777 was a major undertaking for Boeing and the company invested heavily in research and development to create the new aircraft. The project was also one of the first major collaborations between Boeing and its international partners, with input from suppliers and manufacturers from around the world. The first prototype of the 777 was unveiled in 1994 and the aircraft made its first flight the following year. The 777 was certified for commercial use by the Federal Aviation Administration in 1995 and the first aircraft was delivered to United Airlines later that year. Interrupting your guys' information here because we have lined up on the runway ready for takeoff. As you can see, we are right, taking off from runway 32 left here at Boeing Field. And it is just pulled up, and we are now gonna set Toga. Aircraft speed is building up nicely. The departure here is fairly simple. We're gonna be taking off from this runway 32 left and going for a right bank turn and onwards to Vancouver International. It's very short flight here, hardly 20 minutes, but again, makes for a good background footage and it was just a nice quick flight to showcase the Boeing's flight capabilities, the takeoff performance and the landing. The takeoff here, we're, as you can see, we're speeding up, we cross 80 knots, it's going nicely, we're speeding nicely and V1, rotate. Alright, just gently raise the nose up. Everything's looking good. Okay, just gonna climb gently out of here. And with that being said, I just bother to climb and gear up. The design of the 777 was based on several key innovations that helped to make it more efficient and economical than any previous Boeing model before it. One of the most significant of these innovations was the use of composite materials in the aircraft's wings. The composite wing was designed to be lighter and more fuel efficient than traditional aluminium wings while also being stronger and more durable. The 777 was designed with a fly-by-wire control system which replaced the traditional mechanical controls found in earlier aircraft. The fly-by-wire system used electronic signals to control the aircraft's movements making it more precise and reducing the pilot workload. The 777 was also designed with a wider cabin than previous Boeing aircraft allowing for more comfortable seating arrangements and greater passenger comfort. The cabin was also designed to be quieter than previous aircraft with improved sound insulation and reduced engine noise. The 
The 777 has proven to be a highly successful and reliable aircraft with a high level of performance and efficiency. The aircraft is capable of flying long distances with a maximum range of over 9,000 miles. The 777 is also highly fuel efficient with lower fuel consumption per passenger than previous Boeing aircraft. The 777 has also set several records for distance and speed. In 1997, a British Airways 777 set the record for the longest non-stop commercial flight, flying from Hong Kong to London, a distance of over 8,000 miles. The 777 has also set records for speed, with a maximum cruising speed of Mach 0.84. The 777 has built up an impressive service record since its introduction in 1995. The aircraft has been used by a wide range of airlines around the world including major carriers such as Emirates, United Airlines and Cathay Pacific. As of September 2021, over 1,600 777s had been delivered, making it one of the most widely used commercial aircraft in the world. The 777 has also been used by several governments and military organizations including the United States Air Force and the Japanese government. In addition to its passenger and cargo applications, the 777 has been adapted for use as a military transport, aerial refueling tanker, and even a space launch platform. Despite its impressive service record, the 777 has not been without its challenges. In 2013, a Boeing 777 operated by Asiana Airlines crashed while attempting to land at San Francisco International Airport, killing three passengers and injuring dozens more. The crash was attributed to pilot error and led to changes in pilot training and cockpit procedures. In 2014, a Malaysian Airlines 777 disappeared while en route for Kuala Lumpur to Beijing, leading to a massive search effort that lasted for months. The cause of the disappearance remains unknown, but it is believed to have been the result of a catastrophic failure in the aircraft systems. More recently, the 777 has faced challenges due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the resulting downturn in air travel. Many airlines have grounded the 777 fleets or reduced their use, leading to a decline in demand for the aircraft. Despite these challenges, the 777 remains an important and widely used aircraft in the global aviation industry. Boeing has continued to develop and improve the aircraft with the introduction of the 777, a 777X, a new and improved version of the aircraft that features new engines and advanced technologies. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the flight deck of this Boeing 777 sporting the house livery. I am interrupting this informative video as we are now here on final at Vancouver International and we're coming in for a landing. As you can see it's a bit stuttery here over at Vancouver, I think it's just because of the scene reloading in and whatsoever. But we're ready for the final, here we are, all throttle disconnected, flaps are full, speed is looking good, gear is down, all the lights are on. And I'm flying by hand by now, autopilot has been disconnected so we're all good. Here's the call outs there, perfectly on approach, 100. 50. All right, flare, gently flare, and a bit of a bump, but here we go, reverse is engaged, speed brake seems to have come out, we're slowing down nicely here, okay, again, kind of a smooth landing, felt a little bit of a bump, but it's okay, hopefully it's not too bad, and with that being said, reversers can come in, and we're going to be going for manual braking and taking this exit here to the right. Hopefully I can get it slowed down. Well, no, nope, we're missing that exit. Too fast. Then taking this next exit, we're going to be doing a bit of a U-turn here. Anyways, that was a pretty decent landing, I'd say, folks. Um, I'm going to get let you get back to the video. I hope you guys enjoy the different landing perspectives, and I'll meet you back at the gate.
In conclusion, the Boeing 777 is an iconic aircraft that has played a significant role in shaping the modern aviation industry. The aircraft was developed in response to the changing needs of the airline industry and its innovative design and technology have left to make it one of the most successful and widely used commercial aircraft in the world. Its composite wing and fly-by-wire control system have helped to make it more efficient and economical than previous Boeing models. Its wider cabin has improved passenger comfort, and the aircraft's impressive performance and reliability have made it a favorite of airlines and passengers alike. Over the years, the 777 has set several records for distance and speed, and has built up an impressive service record with a high level of safety and reliability. The aircraft has been used by a wide range of airlines and organizations, and it continues to be an important and widely used aircraft in the global aviation industry. Looking ahead, the 777 is set to continue to play an important role in shaping the future of aviation with ongoing improvements and advancements in technology helping to ensure its continued success and popularity among airlines and passengers around the world. So ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Any suggestions, improvements about this new style, I would like for you guys to leave it in the comments below. As usual, I will catch you in the next one. Happy flying. Small Brain Pilot checking out.